Welcome to Artistic Adventures. Continuing our pull-up customization project, we're going to be working on her fairy dress today. Let's get started. So here's our doll. We've done the face up, we've done the hair, and uh, I put her on the stand last week so I could kind of get her hair curled, and it, it's not a stand that really fits her, so I had that paper towel around her. So to start with, I'm going to make a, a little skirt, and I'm measuring this elastic band around her waist with a little bit of an overlap so that I can sew it together. I know some of you have commented that you would love to see me make something that could actually come off of the doll and not be glued on the doll. <laughs> so uh, this is a really kind of easy thing that you could do, you know, uh, like if you have... Uh, dolls that you want to make a costume for that you know and turn them into a fairy you can also use this technique to make different types of skirts what I'm doing here is just sewing the overlap uh, together to hold this elastic in the circle and you want to really make sure you get it sewed really well I'm just sewing it by hand so that you can stretch it and it's not gonna you know pull apart so put quite a few little stitches in there to hold it together and uh, you can use, actually you could use a smaller size of elastic if you wanted to. I'm doing it this way because of how I'm going to attach what I'm what I'm going to attach to it. So you see that's pretty strong and holds together and I don't have to worry about it pulling apart. I uh, just want to make sure that it was, it was big enough, you know, to go over the doll's hips, which is what it would have to do, and, and it is. Now I have several pieces of this uh, iridescent material that I want to use for the uh, for the uh it's organza and i'm using fray check on it because uh it will it will tend to unravel and i'm just sort of making uh leaf designs kind of going with the you know the fairy of fairy idea of probably living in the woods and you know magical trees with lots of little tiny lights in them i don't know <laughs> but anyway uh sort of the natural design I, I have in mind it would be a leaf design so I'm making uh, these leaf designs with the fray check and then I'll cut around them once it's dry and I'm using several different colors of this organza material because it's stiff uh, I have this one that has a little pink with little iridescent uh, dots on it and then several different blue colors and uh, some of them are you know longer than others now I've put my uh, elastic band around this container to stretch it out so that when I put these on it there it's in the stretched out position that way uh, it won't you know tear them if you're like if you put them on it when it's not stretched out and then you stretch it it could you know dislodge them or tear them now the other thing is uh, whatever you put down first because I'm gonna flip it see I'm gonna flip it over like that and that's how it's gonna look so you want to put whatever uh, you want to be show on on the top level. You want to put that down first since you're going to flip it. So I'm going to be layering this a little bit. So what I'll put down last, the longer pieces, will be behind the smaller pieces. I hope that makes sense. So what we're doing now is actually making the skirt uh, uh, upside down. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to do it. All right, so we're going to take some of our E6000. Just put a little bit. You don't want to put too much because you don't want this to be so stiff that it won't relax once we pull it off of the this uh, container. And we're going to attach that to it. The other thing was you want to make sure that those glittery pieces are facing down so that when you flip it, they're facing up. Okay, so, uh, or they're facing the containers, I guess is a better way to say it. And then when you flip it, they'll be on the up outside. I'm just alternating these. You don't have to do these in any particular order. You want it to look sort of random. And these are all different sizes, you know, so it will look more natural looking. Just like the leaves on a tree kind of overlap each other and are different sizes. But they all kind of work together to create a canopy. And uh, the blue, these dark blue and the pink are more of the shorter sizes, so that's why I'm putting them down first and worked out to where I had pink and blue all the way around and I dropped it <laughs> but fortunately they didn't fall off all right now we're going to go back around again and in between the pink and the blue we're going to put these longer pieces 
There's like a, a more aqua blue and then a more silvery blue, and we're going to alternate those. And they're going in between where the blue, that darker blue and the pink leaf designs are. So when you flip this, they'll be on the inside of the skirt behind the shorter pieces. You could do this with tulle also, tulle material uh, would be pretty. Um, anything like this that has a little bit of body so that when you flip it, it stands out. All right, so there's our the inside of the skirt. And you can see when you flip it, how they it gives it more body. And also, it kind of covers up the elastic of the waistband once you flip it, too. Although this is not going to be, you won't be able to see the waistband because I want to use this scarf material. I always pick up scarves at thrift shops. And I found this one, and I like the colors and how it goes with both the leaves and uh, the, the doll's face and hair. And I'm cutting off uh, this piece. I'm doubling it over because it's going to go over her shoulders. So I'm going to cut this off here this will be the length that it comes down in the front and the back and that folded piece will be up at the shoulders you'll see how it's, it's all going to come together trust me <laughs> all right and then i'm going to fold that in half because i want one for each shoulder all right so we're going to cut that in half so what you have is two folded over pieces and it's going to come down about to her knees, I guess, if you drape that over her shoulders. So you can see. You can make that really any length that you want. You know, you can make the the leaf thing longer and then make this longer or shorter, depending on how you want it to look. And then what we're going to do is gather it up at the shoulders, if it all. So I'm going to make sure that this looks the way I want it to look. And then it will open in the front down to you know where it crosses over and then we'll tie it at the waist so what I'm doing with this piece also is cutting it sort of in a leaf design I don't want it to look straight if you wanted it to end at her waist you could just have it straight across and then cut it shorter lots of variations to this type of project and you could use this for something other than a fairy dress too you know if you wanted to make like a long skirt and then make this as the top not have these leaf cutout designs lots of ways you could use this to make costumes for your dolls and it'll be easy to get on and off as you'll see as I uh, once I put it on the doll so this uh, chiffon material is really hard to cut especially <laughs> in a point <laughs> I'm having a little trouble with that but uh, I love this design and I love the sheerness of the fabric with what we're doing with it all right so you've got these and I kind of cut those at varying lengths too I didn't want them to all be the same length now we're going to take this other piece for the other shoulder and we're going to do the exact same thing but before I did that I had to uh, cut the side because it when I first cut it it was really ragged looking <laughs> so I tried to straighten that out a little bit uh, I probably should have put fray check on it I didn't think about that till after I finished, but uh, because I'm cutting the bottom in that uh, leaf design, I I was really not thinking about putting the fray check on it. But probably if you're going to do this and you want it to last for a while, you probably would want to put fray check on this material because it does it does tend to fray. Also, all right, so we've got this. Uh, other shoulder piece done and now we're going to use just some needle and thread and we're going to sew through the very top of that fold we're not sewing through two layers just one layer so I'm doing it right in the middle of the fold and what I'm doing is just taking the needle and going back and forth in fairly large stitches weaving the needle in and out and we're going to make a gathering stitch okay so this part 
I should have probably marked this with something, but I didn't really want to put any marks on the fabric. And then I could have laid it flat and it would have gone all, a whole lot faster. So I was trying to keep the fold together and sew it at the same time. And that wasn't really very easy, but uh, anyway, <laughs> it ended up working out okay. I just try, I was trying to get it symmetrical. All right, once you do, you want to pull it and then tie a knot in that end, and that will hold together in there. I think I put a couple of knots in there. I pulled it pretty tight because I wanted it, it gathered a lot. And I didn't have any particular reason for the width of this. I mean, I know if you're asking, like, well, you know, how wide should I make it? You know, it really doesn't matter. I, get it, I guess it more depends on how gathered you want it to look or how bunched up you want it to look and also how wide this you know, the particular doll's shoulders are. You know, if you were doing this for a Barbie, you may do this a little bit less wide or something, but um, really, you know, as usual, I don't really have a pattern. I just sort of eyeball things, and that's that's just how I, that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, uh, did the same thing to this other side and uh, gathered it, and now I'm just tying a knot in that side so that the gathers stay. So we've got our two shoulder pieces gathered and now we're going to uh, take the doll off of this stand after we try these on and just see but uh, this stand's not going to work for us to put that skirt on so uh, that's how it's going to look and then we'll pull it together at the waist it'll sort of cross over between her bosoms for the neckline and in the back and then when we pull it together at the waist, I think it will fall nicely, you know, on her body. And then create a little overskirt for the leaf skirt that we made. There, see? That's what I was thinking for. Uh, looks like it's going to work. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, so I don't really have, like I said, I don't really have a stand for this particular doll. I was using a stand... Actually, I think this is a fashion royalty doll stand. Just one I picked up somewhere. Don't even have a doll for this stand. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to use... Uh, well, actually, I tried using one of the other pull-up doll stands, and it didn't really work well for her either. So um, I'm going to pull the skirt off now. It's uh, been drying for couple of hours as I've worked on other pieces here and also went and had a sandwich <laughs> and uh, just pulling this off uh, it's nice and dry and then we're going to flip it over like I said and a couple of these pieces want to stand up but that's okay because we're gonna you know put that over skirt over it if you had to you could uh, you know use a needle and thread and do a top stitch over those to hold them down uh, it seems like the longer ones uh, did better than the shorter ones but Anyway, you could press it too, you know, just take an iron and press it down, and that would make it, but I kind of like the fullness, I like, you know, how they stand up. This reminds me of a fairy for some reason. Anyway, uh, there's how it would look without putting the overskirt over it, and I like, I like how that turned out. Um, actually, thinking that after I made the overskirt up, maybe should have made it a little bit shorter so that more of the underskirt showed, but... Uh, you know, it's an adventure. We can always change it later if we want. So now we're going to um, attach these two shoulder pieces. And really all we're going to use to attach them is a pipe cleaner that we're going to put around her waist. So you want to kind of get get it uh, draped how you want it to look. Pull, pull it in at the waist. Make sure you get it crossed over on her chest to hide her boobs. <laughs> And then uh, I'm going to use this iridescent pipe cleaner that I have. And that's going to be sort of like her belt. So I'm putting it across the front. Then I'm going to cross it over in the back and then bring it back around to the front. And I'm doing that because I want to make kind of a design of, of the ends of this. So once you get in the front, make, to, make sure you're holding it tight, and then you twist it, and that keeps it in place, keeps it tight around her, her waist. 
twisted it a couple of times and then you can kind of pull on the leaves and get them situated where you want so that they look good um and then I ended up cutting off that little seam that was on the scarf, you know, on the edge of the scarf. I uh, had that on one edge of this, and I it didn't look good. So I'm just going to trim that off so that all the leaves kind of look the same on the skirt. And once you do that, um, then I just took the ends of the pipe cleaner and twisted them around. So it made sort of a cute little design with that. As you can see you can take this part, this dress off on and off pretty easily with the elastic waist on the underskirt and then you've got the top part that's really just fastened with the pipe cleaner. Or you could use a tie, like if you had a ribbon, you could use that too. And I'm going to do a little bit more decoration other than this, but this part of the dress is, like I said, is fairly simple. And if you pick up scarves at thrift shops, you can get them for like a dollar or something in really nice fabric usually that would, would cost, you know, five or six dollars a yard or more at a, at, a, at a fabric store. So, and they're perfectly enough fabric for a doll. Okay, so that's how that looks. But I want to add a, a little things. I want her to be sort of a flower fairy. So I have this bag of little small flowers that I've picked up over the years at different places. And uh, what I want to do is just sort of look at different colors because there are actually different colors in this fabric that I would like to bring out. There's sort of a purplish, pinkish color and a darker blue and, of course, the green. So I have some different colors here. This is sort of a bluish purple and then that other purple there it really matches the, the dress. The bluish purple flower really is too close to her hair color. It sort of doesn't really accent things the way I want it. I kind of like that purple flower. I've got a few more things in here uh, that I want to look at but I think that purple flower is probably the one. This one is is a little pinker but I think I like this this color the best so I'm gonna cut off a couple of these they have a little wire stem on them so I just I'm trimming them with my little wire cutter and then I'm gonna glue those up on top of her shoulder where that gather is and that's not going to affect your ability to take the dress on and off so I can at least glue that on right <laughs> Uh, I know I do like my glue I do and it's like I say in many cases I see this as an art project more as you know a doll that you play with but I know there are people out there that would like to to do some outfits maybe for their children or maybe they just want to be able to change their own dolls their uh, own dolls clothing but uh, this doll you could actually take this outfit on and off so that's good and it's fairly simple to do all right, so we're just uh, putting those right down on top of the shoulders, and that's that's a nice accent color that brings out that little bit of purple in the overskirt. That it's a color that we don't really have anywhere else. Now I want to put a color on the belt, um, just a smaller flower. I don't want it to be too big or bald because it would really then conflict with the two two on her shoulder. So I've got these little silk flowers. Uh, the thing about those is they're, the way they're made, they stand out from the fabric. And I, I'm not really that crazy about that, although I do like the blue color. And they're sort of a, a less vibrant uh, purple than the ones that are on her shoulders. Uh, then I pulled out these flowers. These are uh, little silk flowers that have both a light and a dark blue in the petals. And that's more of what I'm looking for because they're a little flatter. They don't stand out so much. And also the color is a little more subtle so it doesn't conflict with the vibrant purple ones on her shoulders. And yet still it looks pretty and, and it's a flower. So I'm cutting off that back stem. And because the stem goes all the way through the flower and kind of holds the petals on, I'm going to bend 
I left a little bit of the wire and I'm bending that over just so the petals don't fall off. And then we're going to put some E6000 glue on the back of the, the flower and glue that on top of the uh, middle of the pipe cleaner there. Now this part would keep you from being able to take the dress off, so just remember that if you don't, if you want to be able to take the dress off, you don't want to do this part because it will keep you from unwrapping the pipe cleaner. You could put something on the ends of the pipe cleaners where you made those uh, circles and then just, you know, then you could still take it off. You could put some crystals and things like that on it. Lots of things you could do with this to dress it up. But I'm thinking the flowers are just enough because we still have some more things to do for this doll. All right, so there's the finished dress. And I think it looks very fairy-like. And something that you can do fairly simply. Here, and here's a picture of it a little bit further out so you can see how it looks on the doll with the hair and the face and everything. I really love this doll's face. I'm not that crazy about her hair, but I really do love uh, the face up on her. I love the freckles and everything. All right, so that's kind of it for uh, this part of the video. And we'll be working on wings. We're gonna do something for her head, like a little like flower crown or something uh, coming up. So make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay, thanks and bye.